So guys, today, back for another video on the channel today. We're here for the new Castle United vs Fulham predicted team. It's a massive game. If you want to go and see the preview, I put at the top the beer link in the description and on the end screen. But it's an interesting game going into Fulham. We mentioned lots of Fulham in the preview about Meepo and their new signings and whatnot. So this is just basically on the predicted team. I've got to say this in every video because some people might not understand. The predicted team is the team that I think will get put out, not the team that I want to see. This is a team from the international break and injuries and whatnot, I think we'll play on Saturday. Make sure to leave a like, boys, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let's get into the video now. So, this is my predict the team for the game versus Fulham. We go through from bottom to top, it's been a bit of a while since our last game, and I'll give reasons for some of the players being in. So, starting off in goal, we've got Nick Pope, we all know he's going to start. Right back, Trippier, yeah. we all know he's going to start. He didn't even play a minute for England, obviously we all know Pope had that little bit of a howl against um, against Germany, but overall against Italy, was 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 made a couple of good saves and whatnot, and against Germany made a couple of good saves, but... Um, Arguably, England were just just awful, and they should have played trippy yeah, but they didn't. Um, I think in the centre backs role, right? Fabi Shaw's went on international duty, right? And that's and I think for the statement of Botman going, I'm not playing for the under twenty threes, um, under twenty ones Dutch team. I want to focus on Newcastle. I think for that reason alone, you've got to play him because of his attention to to detail of how he wants to spend his international break is focusing on Newcastle. Obviously, players like Fabi Shaw cannot do that, who get picked for the Swiss team, kind of just go, nah. Under-21, it's, it's, it's different, so I think Botman's shown that commitment to Newcastle should get him a start, and obviously it would be nice to see as he didn't play against Bournemouth. Dan Byrne, I've just put him in because I feel like Fabi Shaw can play in international duty, give him a bit of a rest, and hopefully Dan Byrne's obviously been fit and ready. Obviously, I've seen Botman, Dan Byrne, Willock, um, and Sean Longstaff at the um, Newcastle Foundation's um, awards. Um, I think it was last night or the night before, whenever you've seen this video, but um, they look ready. Left back target, going in the midfield. As of as I've been told on Wednesday when this video is getting recorded before Eddie Howe's press conference, Bruno looks to be okay. He left the Brazil team. Injury in training, I can't remember the injury, but he's returned to Benton. I've seen a video on his Insta story, um, him in, tra uh, in the training ground, so he's back in Newcastle and being told that he will be okay. Joel Linton and Willock in the midfield, I can't see long stuff coming in, but it's good news that Shelby is returning. Be good for coming back after um, Christmas if we um, got Shelby. Obviously, got all them games coming up in January, February, March, where obviously the games of the World Cup should have been getting played. We need a, a big team. Players like Shelby coming back who can who can win the games is very key, but he's not fit for this game. That's why I've got Joel Linton and Willikin. Going into the forward now, I've got Fraser, Almron, and Wilson. As we all know, Isaac also left the um, his national team in obviously Sweden he left with an injury um, and be, but being told Callum Wilson should be fit which is great news because we all we all always do well when Callum Wilson plays so hopefully he can do well Fraser getting um, two assists um, off the bench for Scotland and then Alan Ron is going to start because he's not going to start Murphy but that is the team boys that is the team that I think will get played let me know your thoughts on the team down below and that is the end of the predicted team make sure you like boys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already it would mean lot if you could do so I'll see us all for the game tomorrow hopefully Newcastle United can pick up three points and get back to winning ways away the lads